Okay, hey guys, how's it going? So today we're gonna be uh, taking the box off of a 2000, or uh, sorry, 1997 uh, Ram 2500 turbo diesel. The uh, 12 valve Cummings in there. So first of all is uh, unhook all the wiring for the rear tail lights and everything back there and your trailer brakes and all that fun stuff. Then this one here for a specialty trailer, I had one in here, so take that out. And then, uh, Impact drivers are really nice for this, just make the job a lot easier. I got this one for like 50 bucks on Amazon, just a black and necker one. But yeah, you're gonna go here to your uh, diesel port, whatever you want to call it, and just three uh, star star head screws you're gonna take out. And then I just took the two uh, bolts that hold the uh, cover off out, just to just make it easier. And then yeah, I think there's. So far, I, I believe there's only eight bolts that hold the box on. There's gonna be two in the back, and then uh, two up here in the front. So, if I can, uh, I'll show you ones in the back first. So, if you look under here, uh, there are, wrestling with uh, that one there. And I haven't tried that one now, that one looks pretty straight. Yeah, you know, this truck is extremely rusty, but, uh, Hopefully, we'll get it all fixed up and looking really nice. And then uh, I actually stripped that one right there, so I have to grind that one off. Like I said, there's another one in the back, and then I'll grab our light here. Roll back out. And up here on the front, there's gonna be two. There's gonna be one, I already took those out. There's one up there, there's one up there. And the same thing on the other side. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the rest of these pulled out and then I am going to uh, try and pull the bed off. So yeah, we'll uh, see how it goes. Stick around. So I've gotten uh, all the bolts out, had to grind a few off. I don't think I got anything in my eye, but I'm not sure. And then I uh, got some chains out and just rigged it up. And now I just realized we gotta take this out. So we're gonna do this 10 millimeter socket here. Uh, take these out. Let's go behind here. I don't know if there's like a plug or something. Not real sure on that. It's all full of electrical fit. Might just end up breaking the wires here. Just because I don't use it anymore. So we got that off. It's a goofy, uh, like a five prong or something. That stuff there. Shove that down there, and you know, you're gonna get 
tractor and try and lift her off, I guess. So give it a bit of a go. Got to disconnect the ball and the chain hooks. So I'm gonna get under there again and do that real quick. And yeah. Okay, guys. So here's the thing. So I ended up uh, actually just cutting the safety chain hooks because I couldn't get those out. So I still got it rigged up here, but there's two really rusted bolts in the way back. I don't know if you can see them. Poor light on the video, but. Uh, I'm gonna have to go in there and try and grind them off. I thought they'd probably just kind of snap off because they're like super loose in there, but apparently not. I thought I'd get lucky, but no. Nope. So I'm gonna go under there and see if I can't cut those off without hurting myself or the truck. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a bit of a go. So yeah, it was uh, in really tight quarters here with the top of the loader and the roof up there, so I couldn't. Sorry guys, I couldn't get the uh, film. Probably tie that up, but always, yeah. This is just what your uh, what the frame looks like. There's, like I said, there's this bolt here, this one here, 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 same over there. Sorry, my hands are wet over there, and then uh, here and there. And then I don't think I broke anything taking it off. Oh, I don't think so. I think I might have scuffed this a little bit, but I think that was already scuffed. Then shot of the window, which is a bonus. Fuel tank right there. But yeah, here's uh, we'll a walk around the bed out here. So, yeah, so I've done, it was so rusty. I did actually did some Bondo here. Spray foam and Bondo. But now I'm actually, I'm gonna put a flatbed on the truck. So, yeah, kind of fitting them onto the tractor. I'd use a binder on that side to bring it up. No, I was, yeah. I've, so actually, to be honest, this is my first time doing it, so it all went off really smooth, I will say. So now, so yeah, come and, come look at my next stuff, guys. And this, oh, this stuff, this piece here for the uh, wheel, that was bent up under there, so that was pulling hard on it too. But 
Yeah, so now uh, sand the frame completely down, put new exhaust, get rid of all that and that, put a flatbed on, this thing's gonna be sweet guys, so yeah, going back and uh, enjoy the channel. So uh, an overall summary on the truck, just for, uh, you're gonna be uh, putting, uh, taking the bed off. If you're taking the bed off permanently, you can just basically just rip it off what I did. I'm not putting it back on. I'm actually putting the flat bed on. But for those of you that are going to be putting a uh, putting the bed back on, uh, you want to be really careful. And if you don't have a tractor or something, I'd say probably just get your buddies or something. And if it, it's beds aren't that heavy, it's going to take a lot of you. But just rig it better than I did because you don't want to take the chance of smashing into that back window. Yeah, and another thing, I didn't even think about it, but this thing here, it's good to just pull out of the way. It's not too rusted, but I found most of these bolts are super rusted. And I can find one on the ground. They're uh, full Loctite. Dodge Mink puts Loctite all over them. So they're stick on there like crazy. So yeah, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty difficult to get them out, but all I used was a uh, I had an impact socket here, or an impact driver, and it uh, it worked fine once I loosened them, but basically I used a uh, 5 ace uh, socket, make sure it's a uh, 6 side or you're going to rip them or you're going to shred them if they're like a 12 side, but just a breaker bar, no, no real fancy tools, just all you need is a breaker bar and enough muscle and attitude to just go under there and get at it so it's actually a relatively easy process i mean it took me i took a few breaks in between but it probably takes about say three to four hours to do a good job if your bolts are rusted i mean if things brand new you probably take it off in an hour but it took me a long time i was working by myself and i had to go do a bunch of other stuff during the time but yeah and another thing is I don't know if I should have or not, but on my fifth wheel ball here, just the uh, safety pins, I just ground them off because I I knew I wasn't going to get those bolts off. I mean, they're on there, they're on there good, and it's just it's farm trucks, so it's rusted over and everything. So next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, sanding the frame down and uh, putting a uh, chassis saver on it make that look really sharp after that first i'll probably take this bumper off too it's just probably not gonna make a video but there's just three bolts there it's super bad lighting in here so sorry guys about that yeah six bolts holding it on just make sure everything's disengaged again yeah just the bumper comes right off but yeah i mean it kind of seems like a scary thing taking your truck's bed off but I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, even for you guys that are just having surface rust, you can go under there and kind of sand, but it's best just to take the bed right off and go on here and sand her down and make sure your frame and everything's good. So yeah, next thing will be to sand the frame down, make it look nice. And then uh, I'm gonna be replacing these rear shocks. So yeah, if you guys wanna see a video of that, uh, yeah, just keep on like the videos and subscribe. So yeah, thanks guys.